Hey folks, good morning from Dhaka. Happy New Year and I hope everybody is doing great. First day of the New Year 2017. Let's just get used to saying that because I'm pretty sure we're going to be making... Oh, there you go. The crow started. Bam, bam, bam. Right. Never mind. So everybody's going to be making that mistake, writing and then correcting 2016. No, no, no. 2017. Damn it. Right? Get used to that 2017, right? Because it's a new year. Brand new year, right? So as you can see, I'm trying to start the year was a positive note and I'm not gonna be doing a fragrance review in this re video I want to do something different as usual boring sometimes <laughs> I don't know I just feel some people really watch these videos so today's episode it's gonna be I will start with first years first video it'd be basic things a lady or a gent gentleman should own basically anyone any human beings should own in their houses right wherever you live so if not all try to get most of these things because these are very 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 important right so what i'm gonna do here uh right wait i have to write down one note okay right okay so forgot something right so let's see the start of the day how i started so it was a very very cool morning because you know winter is on in dhaka right now went for morning walk and uh, i made the mistake last time i wore john barbitos you know 26 sprays of that stuff uh, artisan aqua plus Perry Ellis red four sprays of that didn't last me 10 even 10 minutes right so i thought like you know enough is enough let's go with some heavy eaters my morning uh walk fragrance was scent of the day was mahogany woods by bath and body works bath and body works so very very awesome winter fragrance lot of wood Utsi vibe, mahogany Uri vibe, as well as you get the booziness, some sort of, I think, leather as well somewhere, and a little bit spicy cinnamon. A lot of the winter elements in there. You can wear this in the summer, so I'm enjoying it right now, right? So, and it did perform, trust me. I had to really take a shower and to get rid of it. Very, very potent stuff, okay? I went, I think, four or five sprays of this, right? So, if you don't own this, look into this. Very boozy, right? If you like Bentley Man Intense or something like Dolce & Gabbana, the one, this is very much more amped, amped up version of this, all right? So, second one, all right, this, let's get into the topic, right? So I have, I don't know how many to uh, things I listed down, quite some, all right? So I'm gonna just say one by one. All right, the very first one. The first one, it's going to be, what you have must, what's a must in the house? Very must in the house, the number one according to me is, organized shelves plus bed, as well as shoe rack and basically everything else in your house stay organized try to put your books cds whatnot right in the proper position don't throw your stuff here and there shoe here socks there you know i'm talking to mostly guys and girls i don't know girls i just noticed they are very organized but i personally try to stay organized as a dude so i think it's important maybe i'm ocd or something but i like staying organized and clean it's it, it's like comfortable to the eyes it's pleasing to the eyes you know soothing to the eyes so everything i try to put in order so it looks nice you know maybe you don't have to take it to the extra notch but you know make your bed you know try to clean your bed after you use it kind of nice right fresh bed who doesn't like that so stay organized first thing first um, must thing to have in a house stay organized right second this according to me should have been the first one but in in an unorganized house you don't want to have anything right so that's what that was number one number two is food and water right so this is i think very basic you guys know it's like basic needs if you know water it's called life you water is your life it's another name for life right and food you cannot survive without those two things right two things so i know you guys eat and have drinks and stuff but then what i mean is you know i usually keep store I, I store water you know like i usually have two dozens of water like 24 bottles whatnot because i keep drinking water all day winter summer doesn't matter right and water actually cleanses your body and stuff as well as you know refreshes you and then you know if you're dehydrated you know it rehydrates you and then food you know some of the examples juice beverages colas snacks eggs mayo you know cheese ketchup crisps bread so on and so forth chocolates right so these are the things if you have in the house imagine you have some guests coming over some people coming over and even for yourself you just had your lunch maybe around say 12 pm 1 pm by three o'clock or so if you stay at home you might feel like a little bit hungry you need some tea 
needed some crackers with the, to go with the tea or some dried cakes and stuff. You don't want to go out and stuff. You want to spend a little bit money and time. Go to the mall end of the week. Store some of the stuff. Not nothing extra that you're never gonna use. Buy some things that you like. You know, taking. You know, crisps or something. You like chips, right? So yeah, have some Pringles and whatnot. Doritos. You know you like those snacks, right? So have some of this at stored at home. So when you have guests coming over, bros, sisters, family members, cousins, girlfriend, boyfriend, I'm talking to all of you by the way, right? So when they come over to your house, when you open your fridge and they see some water down there, some juice down there, tomato juice, whatnot, you know, like few juices and stuff, few drinks, it's not gonna hurt you. If you even if you store your beer and whatnot, you can absolutely in Western countries, that's the common <laughs> practice, right? So yeah, have some food and beverages so you don't go hungry. You don't go you know empty house with without food you know right so you're gonna be cheered up when you see food around if you have food inside your system you're gonna be good right second point third one third important thing i think you have to have this some of them gonna sound a bit weird you know you're gonna be like what why right why would i have this but uh, trust me this really come handy so third one would be spare slippers pillows and mattresses okay what I mean by these things, right? You guys know what these items are, right? But then you're gonna be using one pair of slippers, some shoes, some, you know, st and stuff, you know, but sometimes your guests come and you your guests took off his shoes, but you guys gonna go for a walk, go downstairs and stuff. Maybe you want to borrow a pair of slippers. It's usually in our Asian countries, so we let our guests borrow our slippers. So when they want to sleep also, if you don't have spare bed or something, if they want to do flooring, they wanna lie down on the floor and stuff. If you have a spare, pillow some bed sheets clean bed sheets keep them clean and a mattress it's gonna be so handy people are gonna love you you know you know instead of you letting them lie down on the sofa right kind of rude so spare slippers pillow and mattresses very important in the house okay then next spices and pans and cooking wares you know and knives and as well as i think mugs all right i didn't write it down okay mugs so these things why do you need these things right some most of you people don't like cooking i think in the foreign countries like western countries people are like nah let's just order take away chinese food i know all this from movies because i watched a lot of movies so i know a lot of our states from the movies i don't know some of them are just movies or some of them are really practiced right but then you get your takeaway you get pizzas fried chicken what rice and whatnot but you end up spending spending a lot of money right because you're lazy you know, cooking is a very simple thing. I'm a chef, but I'll tell you one thing. I was not chef by profession. I just picked it up one day. I was, um, you know, it was my hobby to cook. But then I found how soothing it is, how healing it is. And I slowly started enjoying that line, right? So sometimes you want to make an egg, make some eggs to yourself. You want to cook a steak. You want to make simple breakfast, right? You want to make noodles and stuff. So for that, get one very good non-stick heavy sort of pan that will serve all purpose. And then clean it on dry time don't leave it in the kitchen sink and stuff keep them clean you know you need some good heavy sort of a different kind of knives or scissors in the kitchen these are very basics to cut the uh, back sometimes or you want to cut down some veggies chop some veggies onions and whatnot as well as the spices basic spices if you like cooking you know for me i always have salt around me salt is a must in my cooking as well as pepper paprika whatnot you know some sauces that you cook with so this become necessity when you are like at home and you like to cook so if you have some of this you know you don't have to go around to the mall in time oh i don't have an oil cooking oil olive oil to make salads and whatnot see my items are going higher but once you have these items write down those items as i described if you have them in the house even if you don't cook someone maybe your girlfriend comes over right or one of your cousins who know how to cook comes over right your bro comes over he's like bro i need to cook so when he's gonna see the setup you have in kitchen everybody feels well when i go to a house and i see people have proper cooking ware knives chopping boards and they are very well organized like spice you know in their boxes and whatnot with label very nice it's a good turn on for people like us right so yeah try to have some of the spices some pans some kitchen wares knives and whatnot and oil right okay next these are this is gonna sound silly but then many of the people I went to many houses and those houses people are not actually broke they just had very bad lifestyle right so imagine you're staying over to your friend's place for a couple of days and then they don't have these few items that I'm gonna mention next how are you gonna feel just let me know in the box how are you gonna feel when you see people don't have soap 
shampoos just these two things forget about facial wash forget about lotions and whatnot just those two things soaps and shampoo how are you gonna shower what do you expect you're gonna be like does does this dude shower even and you're gonna feel like you know he has a very bad lifestyle right so you don't want to do that keep some nice soap some nice uh, shampoos it, it's good for you to be taking shower every day it's a good practice as well as for guests when they come over it looks nice you have some hand soaps and whatnot looks nice you know pretty convenient and then keep some tissue box all around the house very very handy trust me you don't want to be like oh where is my small tissue packet you know it's not convenient if you have a tissue box how much does it cost right we waste a lot of money in booze cigarettes and whatnot buy unnecessary things get those stuff get some tissue tissue box i don't know some of you some of you young folks are thinking that stuff Shh, don't <laughs> just being naughty right so tissue actually comes very handy right so these few things soap shampoo facial wash and some detergent and whatnot keep them these are must things to have inside your bathroom or your toilet or washroom whatever you call it right next uh i'm gonna try i'm trying to actually skip very fast so i'm gonna make it less than 20 minutes so you guys actually watch right so next one is station stationary goods right stationary products what i mean by stationary products right stationary products something like i'm gonna show you some example right these are not exactly stationary but yeah you can consider you guys can recognize what these are right these are lighter and matchbox right these are i don't know if you have in your country these are some of you 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 have fire with this right i'm not trying to promote smoking but these gonna come handy imagine you have a load shading like your power failure and stuff you have some candles at home you need to burn or you want your gas is out you know like your, your cooker burner the spark thing it's gone so you want to light you want to do even barbecue you're gonna need these right have things like as i mentioned scissors very good paper cutting scissors or something it's gonna come very handy you're gonna see don't ask me how you're gonna see these are useful then have things like these pens all right i'm not trying to say if you're not educated educated doesn't matter but you have to keep some pens around to take quick notes numbers you want to write something important you're gonna forget or you want to make lists for your shopping see i'm organized right so i keep plenty of pens around my house next maybe paper cutter you know these things you're gonna cut something you want to cut some plastic you want to cut some paper and stuff you know very handy stuff then what else you can keep super glue any kind of glue tapes you know any kind of tapes you stick on something keep this stuff around your house very handy you want to break something if you've broken something you can fix it in literally seconds this is i know guys gonna laugh but trust me guys if you have these these are uh, sewing kits you can see the thing you take the there is a needle in there and there is some sort of a pin some buttons and stuff very handy stuff I know you guys do most of you don't know how to stitch if you do know you are a good man <laughs> then stuff like this dental floss I'm not trying to promote any oral b whatever just i i like to keep this stuff around the house you need it if you're eating steaks meat anything uh challenging you're gonna get this is gonna get stuck all over your mouth and you don't want to stink this is gonna help you right and then i think um what else yeah maybe this keep some lotion in your house moisturize especially during the winter you don't want to look like you know you just came out of like after a lot of friction or drifting in the road that you yourself were drifting and you got like all skin nasty and you know your skin got dry and then in dead skin coming off not a pleasant sight keep some moisturizer around your house right then keep okay what else all right one thing i forgot to show you keep maybe some extra toothbrush for yourself maybe for guests if they come over you don't want people to be using your toothbrush keep something in your house so you know not nothing fancy or expensive just keep something cheap as a back backup or something i know these are like sound silly but it's gonna make your house much a better place to live in right? then next this is very important keep some air freshener in your house do you know what air fresheners are some of them are like sprays you spray like something that smells like lavender or lemon citrus or you can use something like glade like this kind of gel see you can see the blue smells pretty nice keep your room very very fresh and clean so when you enter the room it, you don't smell something like socks or something unpleasant or curry 
it's gonna keep your room very very fresh so try to keep some air fresheners in the room all right next this is very very important this is a must item you must keep in your house these are some things i'm not joking the previous things stationery and whatnot you can keep them it's good but if you don't have them absolutely maybe you're not going to die right but these few things next ones can save lives what i mean by those these things medication band-aids okay what are medications you guys know medicines and stuff right i'm just going to show you some sample this is from bangladesh it's called antacid plus I don't know if you guys know this. This is the best medication if you have gastric problem. I have gastric problem once in a while. You know, I have re I get really sick. I was hospitalized a few times because I didn't have this kind of medication at home, right? If you have some sort of problem and, you know, gastric problem and all that, just take a little bit of this, all right? It's immediately going to give you relief. So, and the thing is, anyone can take this. This has nothing, side effects or anything. So keep some gastric medication, you know, some sort of band-aids, you know, you take it out. It's called Lycoplast. So you just take it out if you have some cut or something you can put it on you know right then next one is another type of gastric medication we have this kind of i don't know what you have with this neotech in bangladesh people in bangladesh can buy this keep this at home if you have any gastric problem just take one or two want to do wonders last one this is the most important imagine like you get sick often right you know weather change you get sometimes like not enough sleep, you drink too much ice and cold, what stuff. You're gonna need medication like this. This is like paracetamol. This is the form in Bangladesh, it's called ACE. The different kind of paracetamol, parapyrol. We have Panadol in Malaysia. So keep medication for fever. If you have high fever, you just take two after your meal, you're gonna be good. If anyone else comes in the house who is having sickness, they're gonna appreciate you for keeping medication, right? So just some ideas right okay next one keep a weighing machine right i don't know how do you say weighing machine or something the machine that you use to measure your weight stand on the scale yeah scale so you stand on the scale and it's going to tell you your weight you may not want to know your weight sometimes but then sometimes it comes handy you want to measure how heavy your luggage is right just keep something digital ones pretty good gives you accurate one right so keep a scale or weighing machine in your house all right next Oh, this is getting quite fast. Okay, right. Next one is going to be deodorants and fragrances. And these are not the last. I have a few more after this, right? So, as I told you guys before, a man or a lady who don't wear a deodorant should be penalized, should be prosecuted because some of your natural aroma is like durian. If you guys don't know what durian is, D-U-R-I-A-N, durian. Google the shit. <laughs> Don't gotta stop. Shit, that's that's the king story. L street sense man. You know, you're not, you're not just saying that, right? I'm not just saying that. I mean business. I mean Terry Crews. Have deodorant. That's where it, that shit goes, and it's gonna save the world, right? Deodorants, keep one, not one. Keep backups. That's it. I'm damn serious, you guys. All right. <laughs> and then to smell good, to smell pleasant, you know. At least have one or two fragrances just in your collection even if you're not a collector have fragrances you know we are fragrance lovers in our channel we, we review fragrance and stuff fragrance means like this not x or some body spray and stuff keep something that's gonna give you performance some sort of fragrances type fragrances to wear summer winter on youtube you're gonna find plenty of videos right so keeps from fragrances to wear for different times night day office casual sport it's gonna make you smell nice and pleasant to others all right okay so the next ones right i think we have two left right oh shoot i'm hitting the 20 mark 20 minutes mark right okay next one is some recreational sports gear for indoor or outdoors what do i mean by that keep something in your drawer or in your cupboard like chess or some games and whatnot that kids will come and enjoy like carom or you want to play like events if, if you have nintendo or something i, I don't ever play playstation because our time we played real sport proudly we played cricket we played football the man it took like like a man we have the balls right sorry about the phone someone's messaging right so yeah keep some stationary and keep some you know outdoor sports like frisbee or football or tennis or table tennis or maybe badminton 
rackets and whatnot. So when you know sometimes your friends come or kids come, they can play, right? This is very handy. If it's 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 not a must, but you can keep it in your house. It would it would be like very useful. The last one. These are absolutely important, right? This one many of the houses don't carry these things. They throw away, right? These things are like newspaper bags like any bags polythene bags reusable polythene bags or paper bags net bags or maybe something from jute jute type of bags shopping bags keep some and then boxes in your house like in the storeroom what this is going to do is sometimes you need to pack something you want to just on the run or you want to travel somewhere but you want to pack the stuff like for some liquid stuff doesn't spill on your luggage so at the time you need some bags right where are you going to buy bags you're going to run to the mall again no, you're just gonna open your storage and you see there there is my bags there are my boxes you want to carry some cds or books always come handy hold them put them in your stationary room storage room all right these are very very important all right then some other things also try to keep just uh before i end very very important also have like you know the kettles i don't know what you call that to boil water and whatnot just put water and it warm it up for you to make tea, coffee, right? Electric kettle, yeah, that one. And then some iron, okay? These are very, very important for a house. So guys and girls, right? Whoever you are, wherever you are watching it from, try to get some of these items. I'm gonna write them down in the description box in case you're lazy to watch it. You can just take note and you can see if you really need it. When you do some soul searching and stuff, you'll see this stuff are absolutely important. So guys, Thank you very much for watching i'm sorry for the 20 minutes plus uh, mark but yeah i had to start with something different i always think of some other ideas when i'm walking right so for the second part at night i'm gonna do the video many of you were waiting for the battle video right it's gonna be between the best my number one pick for the year volunteer more intense versus savage nah i'm just kidding it's gonna be against sorry didn't bring it it's gonna be against dear room intense so these two are gonna go head to head i know this one came out as the top 2016 my best fragrance but is it gonna still be number one when it comes to comparison real time against the legend dhi right so watch out for the video at night i'll be talking to you soon guys thank you for watching have a great day enjoy your new year don't wake up, don't get out of the house. Keep your work, keep your, keep your school. I'm not gonna, they're not gonna bother, right? <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.